before I start this video, let me first give a shout out to one of my nakamas, Rex Kit UW. I don't know how to pronounce his her name, but here it is, Rex Kit. Shout out to you again. Thank you. So guys, are you ready for this video? We are going to fully awaken the human Buddha fruit. Let's eat it. Are you ready, guys? Well, let's go. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So guys, are you ready to fully awaken this human Buddha fruit? But first, let me show you the skills. So at level 1 mastery, you will already have two skills. First is transform and the impact. So there's the impact. Just a reminder guys, you cannot use any of your skills if you don't transform. Okay? Okay, so now when you reach level 100 mastery, you will be unlocking the Buddha Leap. So here is the Buddha Leap. There you go. So far for the damage guys, it's not that high. But pairing it with a fight style, you will become OP according to some of the players. So now guys, in 200 mastery, you will unlock the last skill, the Buddha Explosion. That's it. So those are all the skills. Now we are going to compare it with the Awakened form. So first off, the shift. Let's check this out. This is the unawakened version, right? See how big it is? So at first, we call it transform. Now it will transform its name into shift. So you need to pay 500 shards in that session. Go. Okay. So the first thing that I noticed is the height. Yes. It's a lot bigger and this aura surrounding your transform form. There you go. It really looks cooler. <laughs> but, mind you guys, it is harder to aim with this aura. So, if there's a way to remove this, kindly tell me in the comment section. Check this out. This is before I unlock the shift, right? Now, this is the shift form. It's a lot bigger. It has an aura. And guys, when you jump, there is a damage. Guys, just by jumping, you can damage your enemies. To give you an idea on how big it is, check this out. This is the normal form, right? The next time that we did the raid, check this out. His head is almost on the ceiling. Okay? Okay, so that's it. For our next skill, we will be unlocking a new skill, guys. It is not part of the initial skills of the human Buddha fruit. So for 2,000 fragments, we will unlock. There you go. The retrib Retribution Dash. So how does it work? This is a dash, obviously, but... Boom! Did you see that, guys? For small mobs, if you ever get caught in the dash, you will be thrown away. Check it out, guys. One more time with a better angle. There you go. Boom! <laughs> so I really like the skill, the effects, but the damage, not so good. So for the third one, for 3,000 fragments, we will be upgrading the skill impact. There you go. Again, 3,000 fragments. This is the impact, right? Not bad to be honest. So here is the awakened form. There you go. We call it the heavenly impact. Hmm. See that guys? Oh, I don't know guys. It's almost the same. For me, it's almost the same. That one, okay, so I don't know. I'm not happy with that awakened form. So comment in the comment section if there is something that I don't know about that skill. Okay, so next up, our fourth skill, C skill for 5,000, sorry, 4,000 fragments. We will be upgrading the Buddha lip. There you go. Oh, this is the previous Buddha lip. There you go. So when you awaken it, it will be called the Light of Annihilation. Guys, you can charge it like this and then release the button. Okay, damage, yeah, quite good guys for me. And this is AoE, so good for grinding maybe. Any thoughts, comment it on the comment section. Let's finish this up. Ooh. Okay, so next up guys, for our last skill, for the final session, you will be paying 5,000 fragments to improve the Buddha Explosion. So again guys, here is the Buddha Explosion. Just in case you forgot. For the Awakened Call, we call it the Twilight of the Gods. There you go. It really looks cool guys. I hope that we can aim it, right? 
but it's almost the same as the dragon fruit skill. But there you go, guys. Again, let me show you the jump. Check this out, guys. See that? I'm just jumping and I'm damaging the enemies. I think this really is cool because given that the Buddha shift, you look really heavy. Your mobility is so slow. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing that they add this feature. Guys, I don't know if the previous fruit, the unawakened form, has this. So I think that's it for the skills, guys. Next part, I'm gonna show you the raid. So, why? Because I really had a hard time at first. So I tried the raid with my brother. So he's using awakened light fruit. So I'm away. Obviously, I'm using the Buddha fruit, right? Let me show it to you. Okay, so again guys, at first it's very easy. Uh, from first to third island, it's easy. Just lure, use your skills, normal attack, etc. Guys, no problem with it. I can attest to that. So we finished the first island easily. There you go, we just keep on luring, normal attack, normal attack. And I was amazed of the human Buddha fruit. It really is OP at this part of the raid. At this part, guys. So. We're done with the first island, moving on. Next island, same guys, because maybe of the area too, there are no, uh, not much rocks wherein your enemy can hide or can be stuck. So there are no problems luring them. Okay, so island three, a lot easier. Yeah, it's easier, but at this island, you will uh, start fighting enemies that has Buddha fruit. See that guys, but again, island three, easy. Still not that tanky, but comes Island 4, everything will be harder. Again guys, it's only two of us. So I experienced Buddhas using uh, the explosion skill. And the moment you get near, they will activate it. And it's kind of hard given that I am with a light fruit. You know, light fruit doesn't have that much damage if it's not that awakened, right? Okay, so... Guys, for the final island, check this out. The boss with lots and lots of Buddha users. So, it is really hard. What happened, Gamer Nom? Guys, we got defeated. So, I asked for help from my other Nakamas. Shout out to these two guys, Tom and JB. Shout out to you guys. Do they help us finish the quest five times? <laughs> Thanks for your time. I appreciate that. So guys, I will fast forward our raid on the final boss. There you go. On the final island. So guys, as you can see, at this time, I already have the shift. So I can kind of tank more. I have the dash to dodge. Again, guys, I told you, you can use your dash, your F skill on small mobs or maybe uh, other players. But on big mobs, you cannot like throw them around. So here you go. Two dragons for damage, okay, including the light fruit and me tanking it. So we lost the raid twice and finished it six times. Not bad, guys. So, the lesson of this: it's always good to have friends who can help you and enjoy playing the game, right? Of Blast Fruits. So there you go. We were able to finish it six times. We were able to, oh, five times. Sorry. Six? Where did I get the six? But anyway, we were able to unlock all the skills, we were able to talk, communicate, and that's why we play, right? To enjoy and have more friends and unlock new things. So for later videos, I will be posting the door and the what's that? The love fruit, okay? So again guys, see you on my next video. Again to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Nom with Erases. See you later, guys.